Now let's take a look at installing our dependency managers. So I'm gonna be installing Node.js and also Yarn. And uh, I'm pretty sure most of you would have heard of Node.js at this point, but Yarn is uh, becoming increasingly more popular. So you might already know about it, but I guess there are a few of you who also might not. And uh, both of these two are useful for compiling down any React JS applications or Vue JS applications. Uh, so uh, we can actually click the download button from the website here, but both of these are actually available using Brew. So instead of running through any GUI installation, it's much simpler if I just go over to my command line and type in Brew install uh, and let's go node. Okay, so it looks like Node has finished installing. The next step is to uh, start installing Yarn. And you will notice that if you're on Yarn's website, uh, Node is actually a requirement over here. So that's why I had to do Node first. So now let's brew install Yarn. And it looks like my Yarn installation is now complete. So if I uh, ls in this directory, uh, right now I'm actually working in the sites directory where I installed my Laravel blog. And from here, I could cd into that blog directory and uh, run a yarn install and install all of the dependencies that Laravel might need. Or uh, I could create new directories here and start building uh, front-end applications or uh, single page applications. But uh, yeah, that is a whole other beast. And I think I'm gonna have plenty more tutorial series to teach you guys that. So from here, if you wanna test that both NPM and Yarn are working, you can simply just run uh, these commands. So type NPM dash dash version, and that should respond with your node version. And if you type Yarn dash dash version, that will respond with your Yarn version. So you know that both of those have been installed and they are on your computer, uh, and we will be making use of them in future videos. And that is the end of the video. So if you made it this far, there's a couple things that you can do to help me. First of all, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment saying something nice, hopefully. Share this video with your friends because all of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow. And I'm also feeling a little lonely. So don't forget to follow me on social media.